I have a bunch of cool and awesome snacks from all around the world to try in this video and I'm very excited for all of them. Some I've tried before, most of them are brand new to me. From President's Choice, I have the Creamy Jalapeno Garden Sticks. I've tried these Garden Sticks type snacks from other brands and I've always liked them. It says creamy jalapeno. I wonder if it has mayo in it as a base. Probably. I mean, what else could it be that's making it creamy? Looks like all the other veggie straw type of snacks I've seen from other brands, even the same colors. It smells really good of kettle cooked chips, maybe. I can't really figure out if it's mayo or if it's ranch that is the base of this. It tastes kind of like both. That heat is so strong. It's burning the front of my tongue and the back of my throat right now. The thing is really good. There's a little bit of creaminess, like they said, a little bit of tanginess. The base of it really does taste a little bit like both mayo and ranch mixed in together. It's definitely a little bit on the subtle side. I wish it was a little bit stronger, but that heat is so spot on. I'm definitely gonna give these two thumbs up. For now, we're gonna put the President's Choice Garden Sticks Creamy Jalapeno in first place. I'm Iranian, so that means I'm Middle Eastern, but I don't follow any religions at all. I've had pork before, but only in the form of bacon. I've never had pork rinds, and I finally got around buying a bag of baconets to try, and I'm a little bit nervous, but at the same time, very excited. Some people say it can smell weird, or even taste a little bit weird. I guess I'll find out now. <sighs> Interesting. It smells a little bit of seafood, kind of like very fried fish skin, but at the same time, I'm not hating the smell of it. It also smells like very fried kettle cooked potato chips. It also smells a little bit or actually more than a little bit of very fried crispy bacon. Here's what it looks like for you folks that have never had bacon eggs before, or I think these are also called chicharrones. I think that's either Mexican or just Spanish for fried pork skin. It looks really light and airy. Here it goes nothing. That's interesting and unexpected. It's almost like it's flavorless. The flavor is definitely on the very mild side, which I didn't expect. The best way I can describe it is that it tastes like a very mild, light bacon, but not as tasty. Some of the pieces are definitely on the too salty side, but I definitely didn't hate it. And I didn't want to vomit, so that's a good thing, right? Overall, I think it was just okay average. Uh, I'll give it two thumbs sideways. It could definitely use a pop of flavor, like maybe sour cream and onion or dill pickle or ketchup literally any flavor <laughs> would be good for now i'm gonna put the frito lay bacon nets pork rinds um in the middle of the line somewhere here i think i forgot to mention that this the president's choice is from canada and the bacon nets is from america from india let's try the britannia toasted suji rusk I'm not sure what suji is, but rusk is kind of like um, biscotti, but not really biscotti. Rusk is very popular in the Middle East and in Asia. So here's what it looks like. You can kind of see what I think are little pieces of cardamom in there. So as you can see, these are like very dry, tiny little pieces of toast almost. That's what they look like. As you can probably hear, it's very crispy, very crunchy. It's very lightly but perfectly sweetened and it has just the perfect amount of cardamom flavor. Cardamom is a spice that is used in Indian cooking and desserts, in Middle Eastern desserts, in Iranian desserts. That's why I like it so much. That cardamom flavor, oh my gosh, it's right up my alley. I love this. Two thumbs up for me. I'm gonna put the Britannia Toasty Suji Rusk in the beginning of the line for the sweet snacks. I'm so excited for this one, oh my God. This is a Kit Kat chocolatey whiskey barrel aged flavor. I won this from the world according to Jason. That's an awesome YouTube channel run by a very likable guy. I'm gonna leave the link to his channel in the description box of this video. The channel, if you just type the world according to Jason, you will find his channel. And I'm so excited to try this. I've never had, first of all, I've never had 
actual whiskey. So I don't even know what that's supposed to taste like and what my comparison point is gonna be. And Kit Kat chocolate, I just like Kit Kats. And it's very really exciting. He shipped this to me from the States, so it may be all broken or all molten or maybe even just pure powder by now. Who knows? Considering everything that's going on in the world and how shipping usually works. But this is fancy and I totally didn't expect that it comes wrapped in another packaging like this. Oh, this is super cool. It's dark chocolate and it's a little bit broken, but honestly, who cares? Let's take a quick look at the inside. It's just wafers and they look a little bit pinkish, am I right? Or is it just my eyes playing a trick on me? It certainly smells very interesting and unique. Oh yeah, I definitely get some bitterness and alcohol in there. There's definitely a certain smoky flavor that's coming through. I can taste the dark chocolate too, but I would say it's definitely the last flavor that comes through. So first of all, I got the alcohol flavor, then I got the smokiness, then the dark chocolate. I surprisingly like this. It was a lot of fun to try and honestly, it tasted good. I'm gonna give it two thumbs up. Okay, I'm having a hard time ranking this now because I really do like the flavor, but it's going up against the classic flavor that I love. For now, I'm gonna put the Kit Kat Chocolatory Aged Barrel Whiskey in first place. It said it's made in Holland. It's the Schneider's Deli Nut Milky Chocolate Hazelnut Spread. Ah, smells so good of milk chocolate and also a little bit of hazelnut. It pretty much smells like all the other chocolate hazelnut spreads. Nothing like Nutella. If you're a Nutella fan, you would know that it has a very distinct smell and flavor that almost none of the other chocolate hazelnut spreads have been able to produce. But all those other chocolate hazelnut spreads have a very distinct flavor and scent that they all share. And that is what this one smells like. Let's get some out. See what the texture is like. It's not too stretchy like Nutella is. Yeah, just like I expected. The texture is very really puffy, not thick and creamy, as much as it probably should be. It does have a good milk chocolate and hazelnut flavor. And honestly, it just tastes like all the other chocolate hazelnut spreads out there. I liked it. I just wish that its chocolate flavor would be a little bit stronger. I think I've just been spoiled by how Nutella tastes, which is more chocolatey than hazelnutty. So I'm gonna give this two thumbs ever so slightly sideways, but it was still good, nothing wrong with it. In the sweets lineup, I'm gonna put the Schneider's Deli Nut Milky Chocolate Hazelnut Spread in third place. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. And as you can see, I've already tried a few. It's the Great Value, that's from Walmart. Fudge Peanut Butter Cookies. Here's the cookies. They're, I mean, the average in size, nothing too big not too thick or even thin at this point, to be honest with you. Ah, oh, heavenly. That's right, there is the center of the cookie. There's a very thin layer of peanut butter on the top, as you can see, and a uh, cookie layer at the bottom, and the chocolate is all over it. I mean, I'm just in heaven right now. I don't even know what to say. How have I not tried these cookies all these years? Do you get these in your Walmarts in the US? It's the perfect balance of chocolate and peanut butter, sweet and a little bit salty. That roasted peanut butter flavor is right on point. And I don't even have any other cookies to compare this to. This is absolutely two thumbs up delicious. I'm gonna put the great value fudge peanut butter cookies in first place. This video was probably one of the most fun videos I've ever done. And I was actually very excited for it, for at least two of the items. I'm sure you can guess which two I was very excited for. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give it one thumb up. If you like content like this, check out my channel, subscribe to it, hit the bell notification icon and choose all. That way, every time I upload a video, you'll get notified and you'll watch it, right? Thank you for coming in this journey with me through all the flavors that I experienced. I wish you could experience them too. Maybe you've tried some of these before. If you have, let me know which ones you've tried in the comment section below. And also let me know what you thought of the ones you've tried. Also let me know, what do you think of the ranking I did here? From the savory stuff, the President's Choice Garden Sticks first place, and the Baconettes not having much of a flavor to them. And from the sweets, the great value 
first place to the last place being this European chocolate hazelnut spread. If you enjoyed this video, I can guarantee you, you're gonna love even more watching these videos in this playlist. So check it out, you won't regret it. I'll see you in the next video.